as the most valuable objects found inside the zone. Artifacts hold great powers that are often underestimated. Plus 36%, plus 6 on the runs. What does that really mean? Hello stalkers and welcome to the anomalous dugout. In this video, we will take a look at the true energizing powers of some of the artifacts from the Stalker trilogy. In order to realize the real capabilities of Andoran's artifacts, it is necessary to understand how stamina works in the Stalker games. All three of them use a similar system, in which stamina is consumed when the character walks, runs or jumps. The speed at which the stamina is drained while performing these actions depends on the weight that the hero carries in his backpack. The heavier the equipment, the faster stamina will deplete. Additionally, if the player carries more than 50 kilograms, stamina depletion will increase drastically, and if he carries 60 kilograms or more, he won't be able to move at all. When the character is not moving, he will regain stamina at a constant rate, which does not depend on the weight carried. When standing completely still, stamina is fully restored in approximately 15 to 20 seconds. Now, let's visualize how weight influences stamina consumption. With an empty backpack, the character is able to run for approximately 1 minute and 30 seconds before stopping. With 20 kilograms of equipment, he can only run for 40 seconds, and with 40 kilograms, for 20 seconds. This is actually only true in Shadow of Chernobyl and Clear Sky, as Call of Pripyat introduced some differences. First of all, your level of endurance depends on the suit you are wearing. And if you are not wearing a suit, you can basically run forever, as long as you have less than 20 kilograms in your backpack. Here, you can see how fast endurance depletes, with just above 50 kilograms and just under 60 kilograms. Now let's talk about artifacts, starting with Shadow of Chernobyl, where we take a look at the Sparkler, Flash and Moonlight. The Sparkler allows infinite running, with backpacks up to 10 kilograms, the Flash with up to 20 kilograms, and the Moonlight with up to 30 kilograms. Here you can see how fast endurance depletes with these artifacts, with a backpack of exactly 50 kilograms. And to see how powerful the moonlight is, here you can see stamina consumption with just under 60 kilograms, with zero and up to five moonlights at the same time. Moving on to clear sky, where we have the battery, shell and snowflake. Exactly like in Shadow of Chernobyl, the battery allows infinite running with backpacks up to 10 kilograms, the shell with up to 20 kilograms and the snowflake with up to 30 kilograms. Here you can see how fast endurance depletes with these artifacts with a backpack of 50 kilograms. And to see how powerful the snowflake is, here you can see stamina consumption with just under 60 kilograms, with zero and up to five snowflakes at the same time. You should keep in mind, however, 
that the snowflake is very radioactive. So using five or four of them is impossible without taking radiation poisoning. Then in the color of Pripyat, which has the same artifacts as Clear Sky, but where the Andoran system is kinda messy. Here you can see how fast Andoran depletes with a backpack of 50 kilograms using a standard Stoker Sunrise suit. And to see how powerful the snowflake is, here you can see stamina consumption with just under 60 kilograms, with 0 and up to 5 snowflakes at the same time, and using an improved light jumpsuit with 5 artifacts containers. All of this shows that Andoran's artifacts are extremely powerful, as you can run forever with just one artifact as long as you don't carry anything too heavy. The stamina gain is really significant and would be impressive to witness in real life. This explains why these artifacts are so valuable and why stalkers risk their life to find them. Well, that is basically it for the Andoran's properties of artifacts. I only showed the basic stuff when it comes to Andoran's in order to keep it fairly simple, so tell me in the comments if you're interested to see more. Thank you for watching, stalkers, and goodbye.